Hey y'all, I've got some Canadian bacon here in front of me today. It's a little bit on the thin side. This might actually be more of like a, closer to kind of the ham slices rather than just actual Canadian bacon, but that's what it is. And I wanna show you guys just a simple prep for working with meat like this. Every so often, you know, a recipe might call for some Canadian bacon or some turkey, or something like that, sort of the pre-sliced cut stuff. We don't work with that a whole lot, uh, but every so often it's nice and it can add a, a decent flavor to it as well. And I just wanna show you how to prepare any number of those things. So again, we're working with Canadian bacon here in this video, but you could substitute out turkey or whatever else. It's really not that complicated. When I take it out of the package, I do like to stack the pieces on top of each other, however many I need. I'm not stressing out about the fact that this is torn a little bit. And then, you know, it's taking my knife and making kind of uniform cuts. It's really not difficult at all. Um, I will say you'll notice I have a white cutting board on top of the, the wooden cutting board. It's not that I'm using plastic because I think it's inherently better for meat products. That's sometimes what people do is they'll use plastic for meat. I think that's because there's concern over the bacteria staying in here and you can throw this in the dishwasher more easily than, uh, than the wooden ones oftentimes. But the truth is I just want a separate cutting board. I don't, if this was wood, that would be fine with me too. Wood, wood is not less hygienic when it comes to using meat products. You can use your meat products under wood. The biggest thing is to just make sure that you have a separate cutting board for your meat products than for your vegetable products. That's really the bigger thing of concern and making sure that you work with your meat products last and making sure that you work with your raw meat products definitely last. So like I'll cut this and then maybe I'll cut my pork loin afterwards. I would not go the other way around because then this would get the bacteria from the pork loin on it. So enough of that and I'm gonna flip and cut like this. You know, and if, if the recipe just called for slices, I might, I wouldn't necessarily cut down like this. I could use these pieces, I could make them smaller slices, but most of the time, if we're gonna have you use this stuff, it's gonna be cutting it into little cubes like that. Just easy, bite-sized pieces. You know, as I said, really not terribly difficult. This works for any kind of meat like this that we might use, be it ham, turkey, chicken breast. We're not gonna use those things all that often, but every so often they might make life a little bit more convenient. That's it for today.